Yeah, I think it's about time. I mean, let's be honest, this looks a hell of a lot better than it did not too long ago after running a full gallon of Lucas in the tank. But these spark plugs, uh, I think, have served their time. Uh, actually, these have done a lot better than the last set I bought. Uh, like, the last set crapped out on me at, oh, what was it? 7,000 miles or something? I don't even think that, like, before the car would misfire under load. These have been fine for, let's see, how long? I think I've had them in the car for over 10,000 miles. You know, I've taken them out and cleaned them a few times, regapped them, but I am much more impressed with this set, obviously. I think that's always been the big complaint about brands like Excel, you know, even sometimes MSD and whatnot. They're all owned by the same company nowadays, but is that the quality is inconsistent, you know, like while this set seemed to be doing very well and they seem to work very fine, the car runs fine. That the last set, not so much, crapped out really quick. And I've put these plugs through a lot more abuse than the last set. These plugs have experienced a whole gallon of Marvel's Mystery Oil, a whole gallon of Lucas, a bunch of ethanol, a bunch of hard runs, and you know, they still work. There's no noticeable misfires under full throttle. And hey, I'm pretty happy about that. You know, for 20 bucks, I think that's all they cost for four. Cause generally you're probably gonna burn through more expensive plugs quicker anyway as well as when you're tuned and, and whatnot. So, hey, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, their time has come. I think that even though the car still runs good, I, the spark may have been weakened. I think there is some power being left on the table after putting those plugs through the hell I've put them through. Which is why I went to the local Napa and picked myself up some of these. Ah, yes. The NGK Ruthenium's, you know, these are ultra high ignitability spark plugs. Something like that. Uh, you know, these are kind of like the new thing. You know, there's this new technology, new technology that they claim that helps with ignitability and uh you know hey that's good i like ignitability ignitability is nice and these are designed specifically for turbocharged engines much like the ecoboost and this particular set which is uh, part number where is it 95605 these are one step colder than factory so heat range of seven factory of six the excel were heat range eight they were two steps colder and i don't think that made a hell of a difference but you know i'm not running enough boost to really need two steps colder one step should be all i need uh just you can't really find the excel one step colder so that's why they are what they are. So this video, I'm gonna go ahead and pull those Excel plugs out. I'm gonna throw those Ruthenium's in. I'm just gonna drive around and get my first impression, see if I can notice any difference. And then eventually, eventually I will end up putting these back in after being cleaned up. I'm just gonna let them sit out and dry for a little while. I'm gonna put these back in and make some runs with these plugs, the Ruthenium's after they get worn in a little bit and the OEM factory plugs that came with the car I still have. I'm gonna compare all of them together and see if there's any noticeable difference from back-to-back -back runs in terms of power just by changing spark plugs. Doing it that way I can't really measure any uh, small differences, like let's say you could on a dyno, but it's measuring real world differences because if one plug makes two more horsepower on the dyno, but the car is actually no faster on the street, then what's the point, right? So that's why I like doing my time test to measure performance differences. That'd be kind of cool to compare all three. But that video's gonna come out at a later date. This is just so I can get a good feeling of the ruthenium's and get them broken in. So I'm not comparing, you know, fresh new spark plugs to older worn spark plugs. So I'm gonna get some miles on these first before I do that. So it is somewhat of a fair comparison. But with that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead, get these unboxed, get them gapped so we can get them in the car and get it on the road. So let's, uh, let's get into that. Let's have some fun on Cars Create! You know, so these plugs are very, very interesting. You know, I've read up on them a little bit, and I've read some of the documentation that NGK has on these and why they make a difference. And really, it all has to do with how the electrode is. So... I'll go ahead and show you right now. On these plugs, they have done something interesting. 
So it's kind of hard to tell on the GoPro here because the GoPro doesn't really focus like a normal camera does, but you can see what's going on. So see how on the ground strap, little kind of piece that hangs off over the electrode? Well, that's the difference. And if you take that little ground piece off, the ground strap actually is past the electrode. This is something I did when I had my Fox body. It's an old hot rodding trick called side gapping. So you would basically cut the ground strap past the electrode. And the, the theory is that the you know sparks on an arc around to the top rather than jumping straight up. So that was the theory on why people did that. This is almost like that, but it has that little piece that hangs over the electrode. So I have not seen any other spark plugs like this. And this is a very, very interesting design. I'm curious to know if it really makes a difference. And I gotta say, just holding an NGK spark plug in your hand, just looking at it in its construction, really, they make some excellent spark plugs. It's crazy, uh, the quality of these things. Made in Japan. Oh, God, I love the Japanese when it comes to quality. Mm, mm, mm. Furthermore, I'm gonna do something that I haven't normally done in my other plugs, is I'm gonna run these at a slightly higher gap. Where is it, where is it, where is it? <laughs> Too, mm, too high, there we go. So normally I run 28 thousandths, factory is 32, but I think because these are supposed to be better at igniting, I'm gonna run a 30 thousandths gap and see uh, see how the car runs. And uh, yeah, they're a little on, the, little on the loose side there. I gotta tighten these gaps up just a smidge, but it seems like I think these are all gapped 32 anyway, so. I'm gonna have to just slightly close the gap, but I'm gonna run a little bit higher of a gap and see if that makes any difference. Now I'll close it back down to 28 thousandths. But I know on the Excel plugs recently, after doing a full throttle run, uh, actually, believe it or not, it was a quarter mile run where I did get my best time in Buster. I just never posted it because it was kind of disappointing. I ran a 13.47, I think, or 46. And it was probably gonna be very close to a high 12, but what happened was, very end of the run, cylinder one misfire, uh, put the car in lit mode, shut it down right at the end of the run, so I lost power pretty much the last 300 feet of the run and, you know, killed my time. But at the time, I had those gapped at 28 thousandths, and I think it's because the spark was weakened on them, I had to close them down to 26 thousandths, and then I never had a problem ever since. So with these fresh plugs, I'm gonna try 30 thousandths, see how it goes, and then, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of all of this real quick off camera, and we'll go ahead and throw them in the car. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these Excels out. New ruthenium's going in. Really, really curious to see what happens here. I mean, I hope something happens because these plugs were a lot more expensive than the Excels. Triple the price to be exact. I don't expect triple the performance though, sadly. <laughs> there we are, coil pack. Two. New plugs are in. Time to get out on the road and see how it feels, but first, I do a cold start and we'll see if there's any like audible difference in performance maybe, who knows? Let's see. To me, it actually sounds like uh, crispier, um, if you will. <laughs> it's not necessarily louder, crispier perhaps. The big difference is if it runs any difference. That's what I'm more or less concerned about and or interested in knowing. So I've been driving around for a few minutes now and I can notice actually something right away. I noticed that the throttle response is definitely a lot better than it was. Like there's not nearly as much hesitation and uh yeah the throttle response is noticeably better it almost feels like i have a throttle controller on there and i've adjusted the sensitivity like it's that noticeable believe it or not it's so much sharper like rolling into the throttle it just immediately just kicks in definitely wasn't as snappy with the other plugs at least towards the end of their life 
I can't recall how it was in the beginning. I'm curious to see if there's any improvement in performance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh god, yeah, there, there's a big difference. So either these ruthenium plugs are that much better, or those Excel plugs were a lot worse than I thought. <laughs> that was a lot more torque. Shit. I didn't mean to say that, sorry. Like, that actually caught me off guard. Because it hasn't been that torquey. Like, that actually threw my head back. And this is in normal driving mode. I'm not in any of the other modes. This is normal driving mode. And it is that torquey. Wow. So far, pretty happy with it, I guess. I wanna see what happens from a first gear roll. Okay, I just spun. I just spun really, really bad. Let's see what happens in fully automatic mode. We're around 40. is so much more noticeable like wow it pulls in normal mode now the torque feels stronger in more normal mode than it did before in drag strip mode so now i'm gonna put the car in drag strip mode and see how it does oh my god That was definitely some tire spin in the 3-4 shift at about 50. Short shifting. So that's how much more torque there is. Holy crap -oly. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's, there's so much more of a difference now. I swear there's like probably another 40 pound feet of torque, if more. Oh my god, that is crazy. How noticeable that is. Wow. <laughs> All from spark plugs. Go figure. But the car definitely feels stronger than I remember it being when I put the Excel spark plugs in. But then again, I've also changed a few things since I put those plugs in. So what I remember when I put those in could be different now. You know, the car is definitely more spunky now than it used to be. <laughs> That's nuts, man. That is nuts. I'm sure anything in second gear is just gonna be useless. It's probably just gonna spin if I punch it right now. Yeah, first impressions are very, very good. So I'm not sure if these plugs are just that much better or those Excel plugs were just very, very worn out and I just was not aware. Because there is a, a there's a really noticeable difference now and the only thing I've done is change plugs. Like, car has the same gas it did yesterday, everything. I haven't even done a cam reset, nothing. And the car feels like I've just gave it a tune. It's that much more noticeable, it's crazy. I can tell you now that any performance tests I do with these plugs compared to the factory and those Excel are gonna be a, a big difference. So I still plan on doing those tests. I, uh, I just was not <laughs> expecting, I was hoping they would be a little bit more closer, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a pretty noticeable difference on the testing as well. So uh, yeah, be sure to keep a lookout for that video. But <laughs> I think I've had my fun here with this and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just Relax before I kill all my gas for the week and uh, actually that's another thing I'm gonna do is see if there's any improvement in fuel economy But uh, yeah, as far as this video goes, it's gonna finish it up And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up share it with everyone You know if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already go ahead subscribe to the channel Keep a lookout for next cars created video